So as a follow-up to lecture 16, where various te techie things broke on me, I wanted to give you a recording of the example for the non-rectangular case. So this was in lectures, this was example 4. So the context is we're going to compute a double integral for a non-rectangular domain. So the integral was find i, which is the double integral over some domain of x, y squared dA, where this domain, d is the region bounded by uh, y equals x squared and x is equal to y squared. And I can't stress how important it is to draw this diagram, otherwise you're never going to get the, the bounds right. So here you have y equals x squared and the other one um, x equals y squared. And so our, our domain of interest is this one. And so for the integral, um, in class I asked for which way around you want to do it, and we said for initially for constant y. So let's say for a fixed value of y, we're going to integrate the function between x is equal to well, it's, it's along this curve first, so here x is equal to y squared. And you should think of this as like um, a, a specific value of y. And at this point, y is equal to x squared, or rather x is equal to root y. So therefore this integral is equal to the integral of, as y runs between 0 and 1, you can see the actual limits here for the domain those are at 0, 0, and 1, 1 of the integral as x runs between, as we said, from y squared up to root y of our initial function x, y squared. And this piece is equal to 1 half x squared y squared on the on this piece, this red piece, if you like. So if the red is matching the red in the diagram, and so this is equal to one half of y cubed minus y to the six. And therefore the whole integral of this is equal to And if you evaluate, this gives you one half of a quarter minus a seventh minus zero, and that's equal to three over 56. Hope, I hope that's been useful.